In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a small medieval house in Minecraft. If you're new to the channel we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also if you're interested in the video where I made this house I'll link it in the card above and also in the description. Anyway let's get into the tutorial. Okay so first things first is the materials we're going to need for this. So we're going to need stripped spruce wood so that I can like log with a uh, well, it's like the cleaned up log, I really like it. We're also going to need some cobblestone and cobblestone stairs. Uh, you can also get a load of variation blocks as well, like you know your stone and andesite and everything like that. We'll get into that later. Uh, we're also going to need um, some spruce wood um, stairs, oak wood slab, oak wood stairs, birch slab, birch stairs, and birch plank. So we've got three different types of wood in this. Uh, we're actually going to be using the birch as almost like a thatch type material. I'll show you the two different ways of doing that. I prefer to use this way, if you've seen my tutorials before, then it'll kind of like make a lot of sense. So in terms of the actual size and shape of this one, it's a nice simple rectangle, but because of the way that we're actually going to be doing the walls, it's a lot more organic and looks a lot more natural. But it's effectively a 3x3 three three modular building uh, with two sections. So you've got this uh, like a pillar, one, two, three, pillar, one, two, three, pillar, and then it goes across the side with one, two, three, and then pillar, pillar, and pillar like that. Uh, you don't have to do the kind of like floor that we've got on here, but um, the reason I've got it is so that you guys can then see uh, where we're kind of at and the size of it. And uh, if you did want to mark it out on the floor and see how much space you've got, you can then do that. So anyway, let's get to it. So uh, the stripped spruce wood, we're going to go up with three blocks. We're going to have a three block gap and then we're going to go up again. And the three block gap, then go up again. Then we're going to turn across to the side and we're going to do the same again. So we've got this three block gap and then three blocks going up. And three block gap and then going up and you'd think this is really small but because of the way we're going to be doing it we actually get quite a bit of an interior on this one so for these bits now we're just going to build up the frame so make them go in pointing up it doesn't have to technically be pointing up uh, you can have it where it's you know pointing across sideways uh, I don't know why I just kind of like it pointing upwards for some bizarre reason who knows uh, but yeah just do this on the other ones as well and on the middle like this now it's up to you, you can either join this across like this, or you can go and get some spruce planks and actually build them across. Uh, but for what we're going to do, we're just going to use the wood going across two different options, really, really simple little options as well, uh, like that. So then what we're going to do is we're going to have our spruce stairs, and we're just going to put these on the inside like this. Just like that. And the same on this side as well just to kind of like cover this up. It's just the only little bit of interior. It just makes the roof look a little bit simpler and nicer and everything. So yeah, really, really simple. Kind of cool bit like that. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go on to our uh, birch stairs and we're just going to build on top of this piece here like this and this bit here as well. Just going to cross like that and we'll do the same on the other side and we'll make this all nice and good looking uh, later on. Um, so what we might actually do is just place these blocks down just to kind of like park them for the time being uh, in case we need some other blocks and then what we're going to do is we're going to have our oak slab just on the top of this like that and then we're going to have an upside down stair here and then just normal stairs going down the side of these like this then we're going to put one in on the side like this this time so not upside down just normal um, so this is something that I've been doing on all of the um, clipped off type buildings which is this is one of the ones from that that village uh, so we go just place these down as well and do the same here so you don't put anything on the top although you can if you want to you can put someone on top you can put it out uh, etc and so forth you can do loads of different things like like most things in Minecraft you know feel free to change it and um, yeah make it look the way that you want it to look and never be afraid to change things so what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna clear down our resources a little bit because we're gonna simplify it to just some cobblestone and we can get onto variation and everything like that later on but part of the way that this style works and what I think is quite cool about it is that it's actually kind of like built out from the the kind of like normal frame that we've got so we actually build some cobblestone just kind of like going around and it doesn't have to be exact you can have bits where you can see it bits that you can't see it uh, etc and so forth you can put in like a slab here and you just go really messy because it is a really, really messy style uh, that we're actually going with. Um, actually, to make this a little bit easier, what we're going to do is on the inside, just do some upside down cobblestone stairs on these bits here, like that. 
and that will make it a lot easier for, for where we can see where the gaps are. Uh, with this one, we actually want a gap because we're going to put in a little window. So grab something like uh, oak wood fence and also grab oak trap door. So we're going to do like a trap, uh, kind of like fence and trap door type window here um, where it just kind of like looks really kind of wooden. Um, and looks like they can close it. You could, of course, also just have, you know, like a little window like that, or, you know, do it where you have it on the inside, uh, so you actually get like a little window ledge. It's totally up to you guys. Totally, totally up to you. Uh, you know, variation is one of those things that you can just play around with and kind of do whatever you want with it. It's great. Um, so, we're just going to grab the oak, oak slab. Um, what you want to try and do with this is have like an, a layer of oak going across the side here. Um, now, what you'll find is when you actually hit something like this, where we've got a bit above the window, we're just going to go up, and we don't really mind about that at all. We really, really don't mind. Uh, we're also going to grab spruce fence. So, for spruce fence part of it, we're just going to have around the entrance that we're going to have here, so we can, like, uh, is we're still going to build out like we did before, and this time we're going to have two bits of sprint spruce on the sides here, and we can actually then, just above this, uh, put in an oak wood slab and just build this over so we get this like little entrance. It also then helps to variate the whole thing. Uh, and feel free to also put in a load of, you know, different blocks around the sides of these. Uh, maybe put a slab in there, for example. I might put another slab in that bit so we might get like, this kind of roof going on here. Actually, I don't like that at all. Let's get a stair. There we go. Let's put in a stair on that bit. Then have this going over. And because of that, we'll actually go over stair going that way. That looks pretty cool. Um, and then it goes down again. Or up. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's whatever you want to do. Uh, this is the other thing which I always find really cool about these type of builds. Is you can just play around with it. So I think... Yeah, okay, we are going to go with that. And do we want to go up? No, we want to go down. We want to keep it the same, I think. So then you end up getting this kind of like messy pattern. And you're going to basically be doing this all the way around it. Uh, so we could, for example, this one, which is right next to the door... End up having a stair on that side, so it then kind of looks like it's coming in. And we're going to do the same around the outside as well of all of this. So we can go to here. For mine, uh, mine was actually built on a cliff, so because of that, it's uh, well, this kind of like side of it around here, especially this entire back part of it, was really built up with stone, really, really built up with stone, lots and lots of stone everywhere. Uh, but it's totally up to you guys what you want to do. So, what we are going to do though is grab a barrel. Uh, like one of the best blocks ever added, I think. And um, we're going to actually put this in here. So we just put in a stair, put in a barrel like that. So we get that. The reason I did it that way is so that you get this nice um, texture on the bottom of it. And we'll do the same here as well. Yeah, it's the exact same thing. I'm going to try and place this. Is this because it's... I do it, Or can I just not get into the right position for it? There we go. Yeah. One of them. Who knows? Um, we'll do the same around here as well. We'll do this side piecing around like that and you'll notice now we've got like such a, a a big interior so it would have been three blocks but this would have been a gap but now we've got this like uh, almost like five blocks but we've got these nice pillars in between so i will show you guys some interior stuff later on as well um so yeah just keep on going around and keep on building up everything and you know change it up do whatever you want with it uh, and cover this up and it's it's just such a nice messy style uh and the only thing i can say is don't be perfect you know make sure you do Make it look messy. Make it look as messy as you can, really. Um, and you'll be quite happy with how it actually ends up turning out. So, I want to do... I think I want to do that side instead. See here, I'm just trying to decide what I want to do with this. And how messy I want to get it and everything. So, yeah, it's quite nice. There we go. And around here as well, do some messy bits. Do some building up of here, perhaps. Um, let's go down to there. And yeah, put in a bit like that. Do the same in here, maybe put in a stair this time. There we go. Something there. And this one will go with a stair on that bit. Maybe a slab there? Yeah, put in a slab there. Put in a bit of stairs. And all that. And you're just basically making it look really messy. Uh, pretty much as messy as you can. So there we go. Let's go on to the side bits here. We're going to go over for these ones, down for these ones, over for those ones. Down like that. Um, you can, if you want to, cut off the corners, I think I did on this side, uh, just to make it look a little bit more rounded, a little bit more rough. Um, that's what I did on mine, but you don't have to at all. Then what we're going to do, 
the next section we're going to do, the next bit we're going to do, is grab our variation box. We're going to now mess up the roof. Um, now, if you haven't done this before, it's a really easy technique, and I'm going to walk you guys through it. So, I use this as if it's spruce, uh, not spruce, as if it's uh, like a hay bale, like a type of thatch roof. You can, of course, use the hay bales and try and actually thatch them. I just, I hate the colour of it. I just think it always looks really... Um, glarish. Um, you don't. We don't have any stairs or slabs for these. So, even if you try and do like variation like this, where you you know you you're turning them uh, each which way, I just, I'm just never happy with how it looks. Um, so I prefer to use birch wood for thatch, um, and it's really simple. So wherever you've got something where it bunches up, and again with this like natural kind of floor, it'll be different for everybody. But we've got this kind of like raised up bit here. I'm actually going to end up raising up that side as well. Um, we're going to end up putting in a couple blocks around here. We're going to bunch up some of the hay as if it's as if it's moving up. So we just end up building this side section here, where it just gets this like natural kind of bump, and it's just following what we've actually built in here. So it's kind of like this organic type of building, uh, or a li little bit more organic type of building. Uh, so let's go with one there. Um, let's not have one there. Let's build this so it's going towards the center somehow. Now, don't ask me how, but. That's the way I'm going to do it. So I have something like this. Let's go for... Let's put on the side there. You could end up having a bit of thatch kind of like moving over. Same with this side as well. You could do that. And then that looks quite natural, I think. I think it looks quite cool. And you just do the same on the other side as well. And it's probably going to be pretty similar. Um, it's just a nice simple process. But uh, yeah, the main thing is, you know, make it look messy. You, you don't want to... Uh, with Medieval especially, you know, I can never... I, I can't imagine things being so tidy. Um, and with Minecraft, the, generally if you make things look messy, it'll look better. Um, not saying that's the perfect rule, but uh, yeah, generally does work quite nicely. So there we go, you get something like that, uh, which looks pretty good, I think. So, let's get on to fireplace, which is just the last little bit that we need to do for this. Uh, and you can variate these walls as well. Um, I would advise stone, andesite, and a mossy cobble. There we go, mossy cobble as well. So for each of these blocks, you know, do a, a good little bit of mixing in with those. We now have all of the slabs and stairs as well, so mix that in. I'll show you in the end what uh, what mine ended up looking like, and I was pretty happy with it, so. So for the fireplace, and you can decide to kind of like put this wherever you want to, really, but uh, my one I put into this end corner here, just opposite the window. Um, so. What I did for this one is I had cobblestone stairs just on the sides here, just upside down, then a normal one in like that. Put the campfire just in the middle. It's up to you if you want to use hay blocks or not to make it go higher, but this one doesn't actually break all the way through, so uh, there's not really too, much, too many benefits of actually doing that. Uh, just from here, what we're going to do, we've got a lot of blocks. <laughs> uh, I can grab... Actually, let's put down these ones, I can get rid of it. Put down these two stone brick walls. Uh, either side of it. You can use other ones as well if you wanted to. I used a stone pressure plate on the sides of these and then just a polished andesite slab in the middle. And then from here, if you punch up through the top so that then you can get that little gap. Uh, again, it's up to you. If you wanted to have it actually where smoke's coming out of it, you can do. I'm actually going to show you another way of doing it as well. Um, but the only other thing I did is switch to the way that these two are working here. So I had a stone, cobblestone on either side of that just going in this time. And also put in spruce fence gate at the front just to do like a little fire guard. And a bit of cobblestone went in the back here. So this this block right in the back here. So it actually blocked it up and blocked up the um, uh, where the actual smoke was going. But we kind of fix that up in a second. So right here, put in a block, then having a dropper. So this this one just looks great. So with a dropper, obviously, if you have the side, it looks like a weird face thing. Um, but if you put it downwards, you get this kind of like chimney-looking uh, block, which I really like. I think that's great. Uh, I then put on a campfire on top of this and put spruce trapdoors around it. Trying to click on the actual dropper because we don't open it. Uh, and then just put in a note trapdoor on top. And that actually lets the... well, the smoke just goes through trapdoors, so it's quite nice. So you then get the smoke coming out of it without actually having to connect up everything, which I think is really cool and nice and simple. But um, yeah, that gives you the base build. Um, I'll now jump over to my full world and I'll give you a bit of a tour of the interior that I've got as well as uh, what the actual variation looks like on the sides of it. But uh, 
if this is it for you guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. If you want to have a look at the interior quickly, then we'll jump in and uh, yeah, we'll see about it. You know, feel free to put a slab there or even a lantern actually. Ooh. There's always ideas with this. I think it's just because this one's come out slightly different, but you could have a lantern over the door uh, if you wanted to. Don't have to at all, but uh, the option is there. There we go, look at that. Lantern over the door, nice light your way home. That works. So anyway, let's jump over to that. All right, so here is my little cottage on Kliptoff, which is my little um, town that I'm going to be tutorialing all these buildings for. Um, so little bits of uh, like the simple variation, just yeah, like I said, mixing in those materials like stone and a site, and also your uh, mossy cobblestone as well, and switching out a couple of those for um, you know the slabs, stairs, etc., and so forth, just to kind of like make it look quite interesting. Like I said with mine, mine because it's built on this uh, pretty big cliff, I decided to build up the side of it with lots of stone. Uh, some of it coming back, you know, a good couple blocks and down to here just to make it look like it's actually supported, which is always really good. Um, same with this side here, I've actually bundled up a load of stone around the side there. Um, for the interior of mine, so mine is a lot uh, less deep, so I had the, the stone. Um, I didn't have that gap, which is, is pretty cool. I might actually modify this one now so that I actually have that gap so I can put in um, that lantern because I really like that. Um, I've split mine up, so it's really, really cramped. It's like a proper peasant hut. So we've got on the side here some tools with, or maybe a broom. So we've got, you know, iron bars and a, and a bit of fence. Uh, we've got a campfire that's been put out. Um, nice little wall just using uh, stairs, spruce stairs. Uh, obviously lantern as well. I shoved that on the roof, which is always really good that that can join up. Uh, for this bit, I've just got a little bit of a storage area. I ended up actually using this. This is quite an interesting little thing. So because I just had a slab on the side here, I decided to just put in a trapdoor on the inside to make almost like a half window, which I think looks really good. And actually, I think from the outside as well, it looks quite cool. It just looks a bit different. There we go. You can hardly see it, but uh, just lets in a little bit of light. Uh, and I can imagine them kind of like doing that. Um, I had a little small bedroom here, so just small bed and some bits and bobs around here as well. So obviously yeah, that storage area. Then... Um, Going into the main area, and this is just split by the beams. So using the using the beams as a natural split, and just putting in some wood. Uh, they also take up the most space, so it kind of makes sense to make them walls. Here we've got a very simple, um, small little table with some chairs. Uh, just using the, the scaffold and also pressure plates to, to put some wood on top of that. Another bed, uh, some potatoes in a, in a nice little crate there. Uh, a couple of little bits of uh, of, of just kind of like um, what are these called uh, shelves. There we go. <laughs> there in the end on that side and then yeah you saw the or I've already know how to build the uh, chimney as we just went over that so you know really really simple little area uh, but it'll be really interesting to see what you guys do with this build uh, make sure to tweet those at me as well as uh, share them on discord any sort of pictures that you guys have got of your builds uh, what you've done with this one anything like that I'm actually really interested in seeing what you guys come up with and um, yeah thank you very much for watching guys hopefully you've enjoyed this video if you have comment like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one